What's up guys, Creighton here from LogicLounge.com and today I want to talk to you about the Wi-Fi standard. We've seen it change over the past couple of years from A, B, G, and N, even up to wireless AC. But we now have our next one coming around the corner which is wireless AH, 802.11. AH to be exact. And what does this improve upon? Well, it adds an even bigger range to it. What we have is a long range Wi-Fi standard that is built upon using the unallocated 900 megahertz range. This 900 megahertz range is something that's unallocated in the uh, space of radio signals. And they plan to take advantage of this because of its ease of use of penetrating through walls and other surfaces. Previously, the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands really had trouble penetrating through lots of walls. Because this radio signal is down in the 900 megahertz range, it can penetrate fairly easily. And this can result actually in better battery life for your devices as they don't have to use as much of their battery to send that signal because of this 900 megahertz range. This is something that is going to improve a lot in the industry as well as home use for somebody who has, let's say, a Wi-Fi router in their office and multiple walls throughout the house that devices may be trying to pass through to get to that Wi-Fi router. So it has a lot of industrial uses as well as home uses. Now, we probably won't see this until the end of this year to the beginning of next year as being a real big standard. It is being finalized in March of this year. It is going to improve a lot of things and I am personally very excited about it. Yet it's another thing that I have to think about now when I'm gonna be getting my next router or my next access point that it will take me some time to get used to buying devices and finding devices with the 802.11ah standard which should be coming right around the corner in the next year or two this like i said uses the 900 megahertz range a lot of people have had concerns about this because it could interfere with gsm through their standards though they haven't found any huge holes with using the 802.11ah on the 500 correction, 900 megahertz band. It is something that I'm looking forward to and I'm looking forward to your opinions as well. Let me know what you think about this new Wi-Fi standard using the 900 megahertz band, all that fun and geeky stuff. Leave a comment in the comment section down below, maybe even a like on this video, a subscribe maybe if you feel so inclined. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in our next video.